Team or solo agent? Who's more profitable? Last week we indicated that we would tackle this critical question before the holidays. Let's take a closer look at agent profitability and compare solo agents to team leaders. This should give you something to think about. If you're planning to form a team or if your broker encourages you to form a team, a strategy some brokerages use to grow while pushing more responsibility down to the team leaders. The solo agent. Say you are a solo agent and you close 15 transaction sites worth $3.3 million. Your commission income should be around $100,000 or 3%. As a typical solo agent, most of your business comes from referrals. Your marketing expenses are small, maybe $500 a month, and your operating expenses add another $1,000 a month. Your total annual expenses are around $18,000 resulting in a net profit of $82,000, and that's even before broker splits and taxes. This means you roughly keep 82% of your commissions, a very high profit margin. The Team Leader To grow your business and work fewer hours, you decide to add a buyer's agent. They will close another 15 transactions worth $3.3 million, increasing your total revenues to $200,000. But what's happening to your expenses? Assuming that you still close your personal 15 sales from referrals, you need to generate 15 new transactions. So, you invest in marketing to get more leads. You will likely spend 20% of your income on marketing to generate enough leads for your buyer's agent. In addition, you split commissions 50-50 with your buyer's agent. Your total cost to make the extra $100,000 amounts to $70,000. $50,000 to pay your buyer's agent, and $20,000 for leads. You are left with a profit of $30,000, or a 30% profit margin. How did your overall income improve? Your total commission income as the team leader increased to $200,000, but your expenses also shot up to $88,000. You still incur the original $18,000 for your personal business, plus $70,000 for your team business. So your net profit is $112,000, which is a 56% profit margin. So should you form a team? I believe the key question you need to answer before you venture into forming a team is, can I generate enough business and obtain a good profitability for myself while working less? Once you form a team, you are responsible for your team members. All too often I see team leaders shelling out large amounts of money to feed team members at the cost of their own profitability. According to a survey by a national real estate coach, the profit margin of a typical team leader is only 10%. This means you have to earn a million dollars in commissions to make a $100,000 profit. I hope this insight will help you with your business planning for 2018. For more expert tips and strategies, please visit columbusrealestatecoach.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. Thank you for watching.